Critical hazard assessment team, I realize I've given two aliases. I gave Theron and I gave Sherman, and uh, just ignore that. Oh, what's your name? You can call me Theron. How are you doing? You are Edgar, right? Yes, Edgar Vaughn, head of security. Very nice to meet you. You're safe under my command, along with my second and third in command, Lucille and Regina. Wonderful. Go team. Security forces, am I right? Yes. Fantastic. What's your rank? I have class 2 clearance. I was sent here from area 314. 314. Some people say I was just shipped out here to get rid of me, but you know, I've sort of taken up this duty for myself. They say that the duty at 314 is a cakewalk, but I think it's more of a piece of pie, if you ask me. Well, you'll freeze your balls up up there in Canada. Oh, oh. Tell me, a, tell me something. I'm working on a theory, if you would. Yes. Number one, just for the sake of, you know, formalities, can you tell me where you were during the hours in question, that 1.30 to 2.30 a.m. range? Well, originally, I was on shift and on watch on the other side, outside this settlement. Indeed. Some sort of commotion. And I see Cam over there ripping Carter's throat out with his teeth. That's very aggressive. Yes. You you saw that with your own eyes. Yes, and I had to rip Cam off of Carter's body myself. Cam was biting Carter's throat off. Yes. You know, there was a lot of scratching and clawing and like you must vacate the premises. It was all a very loose scene. And no, no doubt about it, it was in fact, Cam, yep. that so you saw. with my own eyes. All right. That is damning evidence, one would say. But I do have a second... I do have a secondary question for you, that, as clear as that is. What is this encampment's stash of amnestics look like? I have two syringes on me right now. We actually developed an invisible, invisible amnestics here. Indeed. Another, and I have two extra syringes in that there blue lockbox, along with extra amnestic fluid. Can you show me those other two uh, syringes? Yes. There you go, two extra syringes and four bottles of extra amnestic. So you are full of the teeth for amnestics right now. What kind of symptoms would someone go through if they were treated with amnestics? Well, it works, obviously. Uh, like an amnestic, but it also works as a bit of a form of anesthetic and a, it kind of makes you drowsy a little bit. It's like Benadryl. So you feel a bit woozy after. Indeed, indeed. So there's some classifications of amnestics, like the Y909 that makes your tongue black. Yes. It makes you forget your entire life. That's, no, that's no, a little high grade for what we, we have, have here. here. We don't have those here. These, remember, if I clear class C or something, it's... No, the number's gonna be confusing. Basically, memories wipe for like a couple hours. A couple of hours. Four ish or so from when the in injection occurs and. Injection? So there's no other way to uh, administer these amnestics except injection. You wouldn't like to. Put them in a suppository. I wouldn't class against them. It would be a bad time, I imagine. So, besides forgetting everything, what other sort of symptoms might you have? As I said, there's a bit of drowsiness, you find it a bit difficult to stand. Would a, would a person administered this great amnestics encounter maybe severe dry mouth? Yeah, dry mouth. Uh, you know, I haven't really seen that. Uh, you I haven't was, seen that? I was training with that, technically. I didn't really catch a dry mouth. But, you know, it's, I've been doing this for 15 years. Dry mouth sometimes gets lost to the cop. Indeed, indeed. Have you been as... We are all born to. How many times have you gone through amnestic treatment yourself? Well, I've done it around three times previously during my training, just to get a feeling for what it's like and, you know, when the side effects begin to wear off, so I can have clear and present knowledge as to what I'm going to tell you as well. What's your name? Oh, Clay. No, I hate you, bro. I'm looking for a whale. Oh, yes, yes, Willie. Is this, is this a bad time? It's a very bad time. All right. Willie is a distraction to this investigation. There's a poor innocent girl looking for her way. Yeah, well, there's a million other little out there, so if she really wants one, she can go get them. Well, could maybe I can get it for her? Or maybe is there some way? Listen, between you and me, Willie should be locked up in a tank in the But Joe said you were going to be a little aggressive about this whole whale situation. But I just think, listen, I need more. Peppermint, I want peppermint back. Decent, and I can bring my peppermint back. 
I got for the win. Fine. So maybe, maybe I'll do something for you. Okay. Can you do something for me? Yeah. Don't you can do something for me. All right. Fine. Yes. Okay. Go to the bedroom where Iris is. Okay. Right over there. Left side of the bedroom. You walk in. Your left. There will be Willie under the bed. Okay. Would you do that? Report back to me. I mean, need to get down to something. Because I have a feeling that the Raz over there. I'm the most suspicious guy here by far. Thank you for your help, Edgar. I'll return when I need. Of course. Hello. Oh, hello. How is your current investigation going? Um, not going that well. I haven't heard very much about it yet. I heard that potentially Sloan was sleeping, but didn't hear Joe snoring as he usually does. But the people who told me that think that Sloan was sounding suspicious when she said that. So all I'm getting is a lot of suspiciousness being thrown around right now. Right now we have a we have Izzy claiming to have been unconscious without their knowledge, possibly memory wise. Oh, that is news to me. And it's also news because Izzy's claim was a symptom of dry mouth, which Edgar is claiming is not a symptom of the amnestic grave that is in this encampment. Right? So that is a different symptom that Edgar is claiming exists. But also, Edgar is claiming very clearly to have seen Cam biting Carter's throat. Visually. So Edgar's very adamant that the mystery is not a mystery because that is very clear. True, but we don't know who moved the body, and that could have been anybody. I mean, I didn't realize Izzy didn't remember anything last night, but it's not a surprise. Edgar tends to administer amnestics to Izzy quite often, actually. And kind of. Attention, uh, everyone! Look at that, everyone get Edgar wants the living room, please. <laughs> Dr. Oz Wanda. What? Yeah, that's my name. If that is your real name. I have recently acquired this paper of yours. This document reads. You've just found yourself your very own little mister, a limited edition collection from Dr. Wondertainment. Find them all and become Mr. Collector. Now, Oz, why would you have such a paper in your private possession, along with mysterious leaves and jars in your lockbox as well? Mm, why would I have such a thing in my box? Well, exactly. It is medicinal, first of all. Yeah. Second of all, I mean, that could be there if, uh, say I was there when they were born. But were you there at the crib? <laughs> uh, can you all move aside for a second? Yeah, really? Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Now that the cat's out of the bag... Oh, 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 oh. Hours on end. And all the people that are all like 
For listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.